Hey folks, it's Shane. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Getting towards the end of March, things are drying out, and uh, since it's more comfortable to be outside, I'm experimenting with a new antenna. Usually I have one of these out, my trusty NFED halfway from Pactenna. Try out the new variant of it. It is the same antenna, but it already comes cut to 20 with a connector for an extension on 240. That's right, a linked infed halfway from Pactenna. Let's see how it works. Stick around. All right, we got set up. Tried chasing some 40, but I couldn't get anything to come in. Uh, but I found an empty spot. Uh, I just called out a little bit to make sure the frequency's clear. I'm getting like a 1.4 to 1.5 SWR, which is good enough for me. Well, let's see what we can do. CQ, 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 calling CQ for parks on the air. Kilo, Delta, Nine, November, Juliet, Juliet, calling CQ and standing by. Yeah, Juliet. CQ, 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 calling CQ for parks on the air. Kilo, Delta, Nine, November, Juliet. Juliet, calling CQ and standing by. Kilo, Bravo, three, Zulu, Kilo, Golf. Kilo, Bravo, three, Zulu, Kilo, Golf, QSL. QSL, you're about a four, five, four, five, Springfield, Illinois. Uh, thanks for Illinois. Uh, you're coming in at a 5555 five, five into uh, part Kilo 4278. This is Kilo Delta 9, November Juliet. Juliet, calling CQ for parks on the air, QRZ. With zero Delta Tango, Mike. Whiskey zero Delta Tango, Mike, QSL. QSL, Whiskey zero Delta Tango, Mike. I got you 53 into Missouri, QSL. Copy to 53 in Missouri. You're a 5757 in Wisconsin in the part Kilo 4278. QSL? QSL, thanks for the x ray. 73. So I just showed the setup here. As you can see, I'm just working off the hood of the Jeep. Got the wool blanket that's always in the back of the Jeep out. Uh, keep everything in its place. Got my coax going and just have a trekking pole out where I strap the antenna down. And then it's just a sloper going up to my uh, spider beams mast that I have lashed to that stake next to the culvert. So worked out pretty well. Uh, we'll go over here. And of course about halfway up, you can see the carabiner that's set up and they got it done really well. I'll show you this in more detail. And I see I got the strain relief missing already. But there's a connector point going to the extension for 40 meters going up. So now I'll just bring the mast down. I'll disconnect that and then uh, hoist her back up and play on 20. I'm so excited. I like new toys. This antenna's fun. All right, I got the antenna down. Here's the end of the 20 meter wire. It's got the banana plug style connector into the extension. And this is where I had it wrong. I had it just hanging up there like this, uh, which, you know, there's enough tension between these and I didn't have it strung very tight, so it did just fine. But, but what I should have done is had the carabiner like so, put this loop through. And now, as you can see, there's strain relief on the connection. Uh, all the for, you know, all the tension that you got on here is going through the carabiner and not pulling on that connector so that way uh, you don't have to worry about that thing coming undone. Then you can also hoist this and if you want to change bands quickly and not change your setup you just hoist the thing down, disconnect it like that, you can hoist it right back up the way it was and uh, away you go on 20 meters. Park to park, Kilo Delta 9 November Juliet, Juliet QSL. Got 
Roger, Roger, copy the five and eight. Uh, you're a five, three, five, three in the part Kilo, four, two, seven, eight. Kilo, four, two, seven, eight. QSL? Uh, copy the five, three and the 4278. I hope you're having fun out there this afternoon. Uh, having fun out there this afternoon. Good luck and have fun with your activation. Same to you, have fun out there, 73. All right, that was my first uh, contact on 20 meters. Uh, just There's a lot more activity on 20 right now in the middle of the day, as you would expect. So here you go. Uh, the antenna is still hung up the same off this trekking pole. And uh, all I did was hook up the carabiner correctly, so I got the, got the uh, wires hanging up there with the with the connection to 40 off and I'm willing to bet you can't see that but you've seen it before you know what I'm talking about so either I'll get an interesting camera shot or record an epic failure Looks like everything survived. All right, so I re-rigged the antenna. I took the 40 meter extension off and then connected the 20 meter portion back to the top of the pole, hoisted it back up, or I'm in the process of hoisting it back up. And that'll be more of my normal configuration with the 40 meter infant half wave all the way up the pole and the, the antenna itself or the winding unit of, of itself will be up in the air and the coax will be coming down to the radio. So let's see how this goes. All right, so there we go. I'm back into my standard configuration, if you will, working with my other infant half waves. Got the mass fully extended. Got the wire hanging pretty straight down with the matching coil suspended in the air, coax going to the radio. Now on the way I had it before with it, you know, in that sloper configuration, disconnected from the 40. So I was able to get out. Uh, I, got, I made a contact park to park from Georgia and one from Texas. So it was all right, but now that the antenna is up a little higher, guess what? Things are coming in a little better. So versatility, I'm really liking this setup. Park to park station, go ahead. Park to park, Kilo, Delta 9, November, Juliet, Juliet. Uh, Kilo Delta 9, November, Juliet. Juliet, you're a 5757 in the part Kilo 4278, 4278, Wisconsin. QSL? QSL, thanks for the 5 and 7 into 4278. I've also got you at 5 and 7 here, and I have two park numbers. The first is Kilo 4854, 4854, and the second is Kilo 6902, 69, uh, oh. 02. I uh, didn't do much recording, kind of forgot about that. But I did nothing but hunt other parks, and I got well over 30 contacts on 20 meters. Uh, like I said before, I, I originally had it set up with a 40 meter sloper, and I lowered it down, uh, disconnected the connection, so it was 20 meters. Put it back up, made a few contacts. It was getting out, but not the best. I took the antenna back down and rehung it, uh, removing the 40 meter section of wire and putting it more in a straight up vertical. I was getting out all across the country, getting good signal reports. Uh, the SWR meter was, it, it varied a little bit amongst the whole band of, uh, amongst the whole 20 meter band, but it never got over like a 1.8 to one ratio. So good enough for me. Uh, I was getting good signal reports, the radio was happy, I was happy. Uh, I decided to give 40 meters an hour to go. It's getting late, late -er in the day. It's a little after four. So what I did is I kept the connection point the same as I did for the, uh, the 20 meter vertical. And then I just reconnected the 40 wire. And then I ran it down. Uh, you can see here, I just clipped the uh, S-beaner onto this trekking pole, 
lowered the mast down a section or two and then uh, just strung out the antenna on the coax. So I made it kind of a V, a little sideways V, and uh, got back on the 40. Was getting out. Uh, I just recorded, I made a few park to parks on that. I was about to start calling CQ, but I've been out here for a couple hours just screwing around and I need to get on with my day. It is always fun to activate a park by just doing park to park, but it doesn't meet the rush of getting a good pileup going on. So overall, just playing with this new antenna is the pack antenna and fed half wave that's linked for 20 and 40. Uh, well done design. Uh, I liked how the the strain reliefs are set up. We got the connector, the, the S-beaner connectors on everything. It's well thought out, works great. I was a little nervous because typically when you get an infant half wave, they leave a little extra on there for tuning. This one came with those banana plug style connectors already on. So it's uh, a little, you can't really do much dialing in unless you uh, start snipping and resoldering and stuff. So I was very, very pleased to see it worked great right out of the box. Uh, when I ordered it, I figured it'd be like in a kit form where I had to uh, do the trimming first and then add the connection points. But the swell guys over at Pac Tenna uh, took care of that for me. So very cool, very cool. I like and I like the versatility of this thing. I can, uh, I can do a couple different things with it, get a couple different bands, small, compact, what's more to, uh, to want an antenna. So yay for that. That's about it for this video. Uh, if you stuck around this long, I greatly appreciate it. I hope you found it useful, entertaining, informative, not a waste of your time. Uh, so yeah, catch you later.